Welcome back everybody to your old friends of Monday Madness and we are back playing Pokemon Brown, the uh, ROM hack of Pokemon Red by Cool Boy Man. Your old friends Jonathan and Mookie. Welcome yes, back to hello. the channel. It's been a while, hasn't it? From your self-imposed exile from us here. Yeah, and I've completely forgotten about all the new types and shit. <laughs> so we're going to oh, be yes. learning this all over again. Yes, indeed. I, it has been a while since you played this. I think nearly in the year at this stage. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So, it's it, we're gonna have to need a refresher about all this, but uh, I'm sure we'll get there in the end. Um, I think the last time you were on the channel, Mookie, I believe you were trying to slit your thumb on a Bobcat in a Box video. So it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah. So how? Um, I see, we can have a we have a Snorlax there. So yeah, uh, you can't slit yourself on that. Well, you'd be doing well if you did. It's a very rotund little creature. Now, do we have to flute? We might do actually. I remember. I vaguely remember getting it. Yeah, there yeah, you go. There we go. Now, our um, party is rather unhealed. I think you might be doing this prematurely, but we don't have much of a saying in it now. We're getting attacked one way or the like it. Well, he's level 30, so that's not too bad. Yeah. Well, uh, the way I see it is if we die, you know, we'll get the free heal anyway. That's, yeah, that's fair, yeah. That's fair. No PP. You gotta try and catch a Snorlax, or... Uh... Ooh. Critical hit. Yeah. Oh, great. Don't you just love trying to catch Snorlaxes but you just rest and rest mm. and rest? In fairness, though, I think this is still working off the general mechanic, so, like, the critical hits are a function of speed. Oh, oh. there we go. It's dead. Well that, well, that nips that in the butt straight away, doesn't it? Snorlax calmed down yet, but he's dead, so <laughs> it assumes well, so. Well, it, it didn't have much of a say in the matter. It got slashed the fuck by leaves, so okay. it had it had to calm down either way. You know, poke around I don't really want to backtrack if we don't have to so you're going to just keep playing until we faint basically oh yeah we might as well <laughs> check out my cash he says as he pulls down his trousers <laughs> oh dear okay that was that was handy that was, hey, we're yeah. fine yeah yeah we'll just we'll just tank it with Venusaur fuck it or sorry Tulips to give it a correct name um, yeah that doesn't seem that scary at all. Mm. I remember from the off, this game was just people trying to attack you, yeah. like physically. I don't. I, I. I don't think that physical attacks is, of uh, trainers is uh, the selling point of this game. It's more so. Like, like I said, this is more so a, you know, a proof of how much you can edit a Pokemon game. Because we said it, I think earlier in the in the previous session. But like a lot of things have been changed. Like obviously things like the map, and putting in more recent Pokemon like Gen 2 stuff in here but there's other stuff as well like um, like altering uh, types you know putting in new ones like we've seen uh, Sound is one Gas Abnormal which I think is a, a ludicrous one I think we can agree with that yeah um, that I, was a pain yeah I remember the Porygons and that it, was... it, it, it sounded better in theory I think but uh, and there's other ones like there was like other pointless ones like Bird and Wood like they have and Fairy and uh, <laughs> Fairy is in this actually yeah you're right it is um Although that is just a pointless type anyway. You know my feelings on the matter about the fairy type. Yeah. But, um... You, you, what, you don't like playing rough? <laughs> no. No, when that's the strongest physical attack for a fairy, no, I do not. What is TM? What is the TM, anyway? TM16. I can't oh, remember what that is. as well. We can save them for later in the evening. Well, yeah. Payday. <laughs> Whenever you get bored with the recording, you just take one and hope for the best. No, screw so, it. So, um... Actually, let's just see what I can actually learn Wait, about what just the hell? the crack. Wait, look at the... We're in the Safari Zone. Um, holy crap. See? Press start. That's yeah, the same room from the Safari Zone. I know I recognised it, but... We've no... Yeah, the guy forgot to remove the little dialogue. The <laughs> tree collection. This is a hoarder of... This is a surf hoarder. Oh, I think you will need one to go to Eagle City, so here you go, kids. Well, oh, happy days. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um... So that's one um, HN gate out of the way. Nice and handy. That's really weird. Why that's just... like... Anyway, that, that's that's probably an oversight that got uh, corrected at some stage. Just think about it as like he's, he's collecting Kinder Egg toys. <laughs> yeah, he's actually just moved his hood from the Safari Zone to here in a yeah, different okay, town. Where... Let's well, look at our map there back. and have a look and see where we are. We couldn't go this way. Oh. Yeah. He, he just said yeah. Can't argue with that. So, so this is weird, like, it's a nice break, though, from Blue Kaizo, because mm. 
God damn it. I really hated the map. Just the maps alone. Yeah. Yeah, the maps are... We see, the thing with the... Obviously, the Blue Kaiser was like, it's um, it's just utilised every single pixel of the... Or every little tile of the of each map. Uh, and for the record, by the way, anyone who was uh, who has watched that, we won't be going back to the Blue Kaiser because the the idea of those kind of games is that you just kind of play it until the drink runs out. So hopefully at some stage you'll be seeing more sessions like that. But um, unfortunately, Blue Kaiser will not be one of them because I think it, it's, it's, it would be very hard to go back to something like that, especially when you're like sober. Because <laughs> then you may yeah. have like... Because our like, drunken pasts would have leave, left us in like an awful rut and then it'll just take longer to get out of it. Um, but just for the record, I have actually played ahead of uh, Pokemon Blue Kaizo, and unfortunately I've hit a brick wall uh, for some reason. I won't go into why, but uh, let me just say there are some areas that are complete suffering. Um, the one I will point out is the uh, Safari Zone, where you have to get the 500 steps absolutely correct to get the get the prize. I'm not even surprised. Yeah. It, it, like, it's in I, keeping. I don't, I don't even want to go back to it. Yeah. Drinker, no, because... Like well, it was difficult enough without the. Uh, it's difficult enough without the drink. drink. Yeah, exactly. So, uh, unfortunately, uh, we won't be going back to it. But uh, yeah, we we might we might play it again at some stage. But not as a not as a drinking game anyway, because uh, unfortunately we we don't have an ambulance on call for that sort of thing. No. But um, at one game, one Pokemon game, of course, we have played since we've uh, last been with you with this let's play has been Pokemon Sun and Moon. Both of us have played it. And, yeah. Uh, I suppose we we both are generally satisfied with it, are we? Yeah, it was pretty damn good, and at, at least that game didn't break my 3DS. <laughs> That's a start, anyway. That's another story. Yeah. Anything that doesn't break break but, your game as a uh, console is a good thing. It was a chin chat. Um, okay, it's just an anglerfish flopping around in a power plant. That's, as that's you do, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, Sun and Moon were pretty good, mm. although the start of it really held you by the hand. Now, I've found that with most the the latest kind of generations of games that have, have done that. Oh. And that sucks. Oh. Yeah. Never, never mind. <laughs> yeah. That's a big move. But um, I think you have to rely on your maternal instincts here and go for Kangas- Kangaskhan, I think it is your is your man. I don't know if you can respond to those allegations or not, but... Take offence to that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. But, um, um, yes, yeah, so you were saying about Sun and Moon, anyway. Yeah. Um, it was just like I I think I said to you just before recording that mm. like I think it should have given you the option of like have you actually played these games before yeah and let you skip most of it because as in as in just have a prologue just for new people yeah mm. because it just eventually got to the point where like even the side characters like really started to hate because it was like can you just leave me alone for five minutes? Yeah, please? that's that's the one thing that actually put me off um, Pokemon X and Y is because I found the side character to be just so overbearing, and it's not the fact that they just wouldn't leave you alone. It's just that they had nothing. They they were always there and had nothing to contribute. Uh, so I don't know if that's supposed to be like a reflection of actually having friends in the Pokemon universe. Um, but uh, I didn't take to it anyway. I, I truth be told, I never actually enjoyed Pokemon X and Y at all. So Sun and Moon for me was a was a much better. Uh, a bad vast improvement on it to be honest yeah there like how I think his name was wasn't that annoying mm. but I just hated how it was just like oh f- free XP well I didn't like it yeah I liked it for being like for there for being there to help us but at the same token I found it like just too positive just like when you know like someone who's just like a do-gooder like, in our universe that man would be like a you know Jehovah's Witness but um yeah, because he just showed up and like healed your team. To yeah, fall. pretty much. Yeah, he was a he was, oh Magneton. Now this would be a steel type in this game. Yeah. So. So what do you think? What are you thinking? Do you want to take it or? Because it's nice. It's a good level actually. Level thirty five. Yeah, we could. I'd be able to replace my ma um, with it. I don't think your mother will take too kindly to be replaced in the let's play, but well, I had no say in the matter. So. Okay. Um. Let's try it. Let's try it. Mm. I don't know what I, I think sound is weak against electric. I could be wrong about that. Give it a shot. Oh. Yeah. Okay, it's not. But we can do two more hits and then it, we can hit it with an ultra ball. Well, yeah, Sun and Moon mm. was like it was good otherwise. Yeah, do you know what? I, I, the one thing I would say about Sun and Moon is that it actively tried to do something different. With the with the formula because the 
you, like if you play the Pokemon game, you know what the story is, and it is fairly repetitive. It's working off a formula. You have your your starters. You have your eight gym battles. You have your elite four. You have all this. In Sun and Moon, it does things quite differently, and it's it kind of goes back to how. Um, hey, nice one. Yeah, nice one. So uh, let's um, let's name our Magneton then. What do you think? Um. I don't know what the Chris and Tree Ball stuck together. Chafing. <laughs> yeah. That's, let, that, let's if, they were, that. if I had Tree Balls, right, just for argument's sake, and they were stuck together, that's the one thing that would come to mind for me. And so, especially, there's a whole lot of stank there between them as well. So that's like, like, that's like double chafing. As not even chafing, you get rid of a, with a cream. I misread that as chafing was transferred to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> like it was some sort of STI. Yeah. I don't think so. That's not how chafing works, Fred, but I... I it's I like okay, we've got candy out of it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Oh, fuck, it's a Flaffy. We could have got a... We could have got a Vampiros instead. Yeah, you love it. Um, but anyway, um... Back to my fun. back to my point about Sun and Moon. It did do things differently. There's no... Yeah, like there's the no gym, captains. Yeah, there's no gym battles, that. and it actively did a really good job of still making you a, a top trainer. Like, the, the difficulty curve didn't really change that much. So, if anything, I think you have to commend it for that. Uh, it's kind of in keeping as well, so considering it's like on the other side of the world, so I, everything is done differently. Hence why you have like regional differences of like Alolan types and all that stuff. Uh, otherwise, I have to say, like, it, it does things a lot better than previous games. And it's definitely worth checking out if you haven't played Pokemon in a while. Especially this over like the, some of the previous games, like Gen 5 and Gen 6. First of all, it actually has a fucking plot, which I think speaks volumes in of itself yeah you that know, was definitely um, th that was a much yeah exactly because it actually makes you think like uh it's not a necessarily engaging plot because the there's a, there's a big tw there's a sort of twist um in in it and it is very evident who it is like right at the start you know there's like a a bit of a, a swerve let's say in who the the villains are but yeah what what i liked in particular just to kind of about the plot was they try to go places that it wasn't that surprising just for any game, but yeah. for Pokemon, like it got very dark at points. And it did. It, we went to like a fucking alternate universe, like a fucking upside down. Yeah, and there was people who pretty much outright said that they were going to kill you. Yeah, and not even that. We had like the wasn't like one of the main like say story villains was a horrific fucking homunculus between Pokemon and man. That was that was fucked up. Yeah, that really was. And it was the thing as well is it was like completely unexpected as well, you know. Like it's it's completely out of out of team with or out of tone with what you'd expect from Pokemon. Even some of the periphery games that have a bit more of a let's say mature tone to the to the main canon. No, this was like completely like a completely off base really. But at the same token, that's kind of what made the game better in a way. It's just, it actually had a bit more of a a, a sting to it. Um, yeah, no, I, I say check it out. Like you know, there are there are some um, you know goofy things in it. Like so I think some of the Alolan types are really fucking dumb anyway. Yeah, like Doug Trio. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get what they they, they tried to do with it. Like, I don't. Was, uh, can you explain it to me? I don't have the information on me at the moment, <laughs> but um, I remember like the the reason for them having um, He Man hairdos. Yeah, was something to do with. Minerals from volcanoes like washing up on the shore, right? And it was something to do with that. Like there was generally some sort ooh. of ooh, what's that? I know who, who that is. And before you go in there, I suggest healing. Um, Just saying that I won't. I won't spoil it, but I don't go in there unhealed. I think I know what it's gonna be. Yeah, it's it's. Oh great! No, no, no. Okay, nice. Good. So um, we. Do we have teleport? No. We might have dig somewhere. We we could have a dig on maybe one of maybe curls, which is our golem. I think it was just mud slap. Oh, um, uh, you could be right. Yeah. yeah. In that case, uh, come out and, and we'll um, we'll heal up and then go face that chappy. Then, if, if you're happy with that. Yep. All right. Right, we are back. We're fully healed up. We've done our items, and now we're about to face this weird thing. Yeah. Oh yes, we're um, chafing now. We're we got chafing. Um, it's very hot in here. So, <laughs> so we've um, we. Oh, it's a. Do I do I guess what it is? Dragonite. It's I knew. Level no, fifty. No pressure, Mookie. Um, 
Yeah, exactly. No pressure. We're just going to go with Kraut. Ooh, good shout. Oh, they give him... Holy crap. Mm. I don't know if he runs away, runs away or not. Um, if it does, we are not chasing it. No, well, you can't actually chase. That's the thing. I, that's why I can't remember if the programming has... Like, you know... Oh, yeah. Good. I keep forgetting this is still in Gen 1. Yeah. Well, in that case, then it should stay where it is. Wow, that's not doing anything. No, no, no. Ah, dick move. Fuck. Well, that's ruined our chance of completing the Pokedex. <laughs> Whoa. Um, wow. Well, that's a dick move. I don't even think they could... I don't know if they... F um, figure out how to do that respawning thing, like, once you yeah. do what you need for. Yeah. I don't know if they... Shite. Yeah, I don't know if they intended that, but... If they did, well, what an asshole. But, okay. Well, that was our, ex our brief encounter with one of the legendary dogs. So, um, hopefully we'll find that in the dog pound somewhere. and we can. Yeah, apparently the dog barked and scared the giant rock beast away. <laughs> 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 yeah, it, it, he it hecked and had a problem. But, uh, yes, before we uh, cut, we were actually um, talking about Pokemon Sun and Moon. Um, like I said, and since, obviously, we've taken our long our ass... Uh, taken so long to get back to this fucking game. Um, since then, a sequel has been released or announced even for um, for Sun and Moon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon, which is pretty much just a rip off of Gen Five that um, did the same thing with Black and White and Black Two and White Two Manchester United nil. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so it's I don't know how. What's your feelings on the matter? Because I'm quite mixed about it as well. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait and see because like. It could easily just be another thing where it's like, yeah, like mm. there's a third legendary and they fuse for some really obtuse reason. Yeah. But um, I, as far as I know, it's not exactly going to be like Black and White 2 in the sense that it's a sequel. Mm. But it's more like a crystal or emerald, if you get me. Yeah, I, I see what you mean. Um, put that on chafing. Because nothing, like, nothing says chafing like thunder. <laughs> Um, get rid of Supersonic, I guess. Interesting. I would have got rid of Tackle. Well, we've got Confuse Ray on Mozilla, mm, as far suppose. as I remember. Um, so, oh, damn it, do we not get any items here? <laughs> <laughs> it's a power plant, do you not remember the shit? It, but yeah, like, I want to wait and see because, because it, you can't really call it just yet. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm kind of a mixed bag about it as well. Like, in a sense... I'm glad that they're like dabbling a dabbling a little bit more into what they build up on in the first game because obviously they saw how well received um, people's like interest in the plot was and they said okay we have basically an excuse to to, to go more with it. Um, that's why I, I think that's why they kind of why Gen Five is the same way because like I said that game actually had actually had a plot in it, which made it very interesting. So in a sense, I'm I'm happy they've they've gone back and and given it a sequel and. In a sense, I'm disappointed in myself that I didn't see it coming because the um, I suppose the the uh, legendary in question, the uh, thing that we were just mentioning, it, the legendary does kind of like appear out of nowhere. Basically, it's all part of this whole subplot with the Ultra Beasts that um, that comes up in the uh, post game. Yeah, like and we should you should have seen it coming really when it just said, "Oh look, here's the big bad legendary from space." Yeah, you know, but in fairness, X and Y did that with. Um with Zygar, wasn't it? Zygar, yeah. yeah. And he, like that, he was just in a, a random cave. Mm, just for whatever reason, yeah. Yeah, and, well, they ended up not doing anything with him until... Uh, yeah, I, I think it's because... Until Sun and Moon, actually. Mm, um, that's true. Because you just, you remember you collected cores and cubes yeah, and that was something a, like that. Of that was another thing, actually, they didn't do in, a, in Sun and Moon. They had basically what I call like, the, the hidden packages quest from like the GTA games. If you collect a hundred of this, you get like a, a badass Pokemon. Essentially, it was it was a nice change, but some of them were just like really fucking impossible to get at. Yeah, and they were like timed, as Ti well, time sensitive as well. Yeah, which was just really annoying. I think when I last played the game, I was mm. I was off by like one. Yeah, and even trying to like cheat and use guides, um, I couldn't find that last one mm. because and there is always one that you miss as well for whatever reason. 
Yeah, it's just a pity they didn't do anything with it in X and Y. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of getting lost in here, to be honest. <laughs> I've noticed that. You were going back and forth there for a spell. So, I think you have to go set west, uh, as far as I recall. Because I think we might have just taken everything we need from this power plant. And uh, I think now that we have uh, the, uh, the Surf TM, or HM even, I think uh, we should get ourselves a water Pokemon. 